This could be my favorite electric pickup truck. I guys, I, I I think this ticks all the boxes. It's one, it's affordable. Two, lithium ion phosphate batteries. Three, decent range. Four, it's the perfect size. It's not too big, not too small. It's got a good size tray. You can fit a few surfboards in there if that's what you want to do. Guys, I'm really excited because you know what? JAC, they are coming to Australia. Maybe other countries, maybe New Zealand, Southeast Asia, maybe even Europe. This new electric car, in my opinion, could be an absolute winner. And it's one, you've, you've got to check it out. It looks, it looks really good. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And I've got to say, you know what? I've just seen the details behind, behind this EV. It's an electric truck. It's not a plug-in hybrid. It's not a BYD Pretend EV. Yeah, BYD, come on. What's with the plug-in hybrids? We want the fully electric version. We want the full electric truck. Let's go. Let's do it. If these guys can do it, if JAC can do it, you guys are smashing JAC, BYD. I'm talking to you right now. You're smashing JAC. If they can do it, you can do it as well. Come on. JAC have just revealed their electric pickup truck. JAC have also revealed they are bringing a pickup truck to Australia. Is this going to be it? Could this be one coming in the future? You know what? I think it will. In fact, I'm almost certain that it will. The JAC Hunter EV pickup is debuting at the Beijing Auto Show in April. The automaker was a contract manufacturer of NEO EVs. Now, basically, many of NEO's EVs were made by JAC until recently NEO bought the factory. They bought the facilities from JAC. So JAC know what they're doing. I mean, this is not some little startup electric car company. These guys are seriously the real deal. They know how to make a proper EV and they know how to do it very, very well. Boasting a 205 millimeter ground clearance, says Car News, Dot com and a lengthy 1.8 meter cargo bed. So it's got a six foot tray, guys, 1.8 meter bed, bit longer tray than a Ford Ranger, Toyota Hilux. I know a lot of people want a bit longer tray. They say the tray's a bit too small. I do, I think they are. This one's a bit longer. So it's not quite as big as something like a Ford F-150, but it's that, that perfect in-between size, I think it is. So it's prioritizing practicality. And it's a good option. This is not a truck that's being like said, you know, it's just a toy. It's one of these like pretend EV trucks we've seen recently, right? This is the real deal. One feature, dual motor, four wheel drive. A lot of these recent trucks, great wall motors, they make a real wheel drive version in China. It's called the poor. It's like the poor man's version of this. Great wall, yeah, it's not that good. People are saying, you know, it doesn't have enough power. LDV, their current electric truck, it's okay. And in fact, no, it's not. It's not very good at all. LDV do have a new one coming though. So that looks really good. That's like a direct competitor to this. This dual motor setup has 500 kilometers of range and it's got enough power. It's got lithium ion phosphate batteries. So CLTC range is 500 kilometers. So you're probably thinking real world, you know, maybe 400, 450. But the thing is, because it's got lithium ion phosphate batteries, that's going to mean you can charge it to 100% every day. You're going to get a long life out of those batteries. You don't have to be thinking to yourself, you know, should I do this fast charging? Should I not do it? You don't have to worry about any of that. In fact, the other benefit to this vehicle is the fact that it doesn't have a massive battery. It's big enough, but it's not huge. So it's going to be affordable, but I'll get to that in a minute. How big is the vehicle? It's 5.6 meters long, 5.62 meters. Width is 1.965 meters. Height is 1.92 meters, meaning it's just probably a little bit smaller than a Ford F-150 with the short bed, but it's not as wide, of course. It has a 1.8 meter cargo bed and it has a pretty good load carrying capacity. Now, JAC is saying it has over the air updates. I mean, we know we'll know how those work, not really that well usually unless you're Tesla, but it does have wireless fast charging. That's pretty cool, wireless charging. In addition, it's got 220 volt power supply uh, in the bed, so you can power your power tools or whatever you want, your caravan, whatever, from the, straight from the bed. It's got electric seats, automatic climate control, and ambient lighting. So it's not a luxury truck, but it's definitely not a poor man's vehicle either. So getting to the battery and the power of the motors, two motors, you've got 70 kilowatt motor on the front, 160 kilowatt motor on the rear, 
meaning you get 230 kilowatts in total. That's just over 200. That's just over 300 horsepower. Plenty of power. I don't think you need any more power than that, realistically. Torque. It's got about 520 newton meters of torque. It's got 176 newton meters of torque from that front motor, 342 newton meters from the rear motor. So it's more, uh, more power in the rear, but it is all-wheel drive. In addition to that, it's got an 88 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery pack. I believe that comes from CATL. Higher energy density, fast charging speed should be improved as a result of the new technology coming from these guys that has just been revealed over the last few months. In fact, this technology just won awards. It won the best technology award in Europe from a panel of 24 judges. Worth having a look at when you consider how good that battery is gonna be. Anyway, that gives it a CLTC range of 500 kilometers, meaning WLTP 450, real world, probably 400. Depends though, but I think either way, guys, for the price that this vehicle is gonna come in at, you'd probably be looking at something like 50,000 Australian dollars, maybe about 30,000 US dollars. I mean, it'll be perfect. I really think JAC are manufacturing these, not just for the Chinese market, they know where people buy pickup trucks. They know that in Southeast Asia, their massive Thailand pickup trucks are insane. They just insanely popular in Thailand, insanely popular in Australia, very popular in New Zealand. I believe this truck is destined for those markets where JAC are already, I mean, look at this. We've got a news report here, right? News report here from Drive, from Car Expert, from various websites. JAC T9 from China slated for a 2024 Australian launch. Now that is the internal combustion engine version, but come on, they must know we want the electric version. Anyway, what do you guys think? Is this, are you, are you, are you keen on one of these? Do you think they're good? Are you excited like I am? Or do you just think, ah, oh, it's Chinese? What are your thoughts? Let me know. Bye-bye.